Gigafactory 3 manages to literally avoid disaster, and a much-hoped-for Model 3 feature is scrapped. This is Tesla Tibbetts episode number 542 for August 14th, 2019. This show is sponsored by my supporter, Richard. If you're in the market for a Model S, X, or 3, please consider using his referral code. Ask your salesperson to use code Richard174 or go direct to the web link ts.la slash Richard174 and pick up a 1,000-mile supercharging credit for your new vehicle. We start the show with Teslarati reporting that Gigafactory 3 has survived a recent typhoon that hit Shanghai. On Saturday morning, Typhoon Lakima, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, made landfall, sporting winds reaching 187 kilometers per hour, or roughly 116 miles per hour. It caused the evacuation of 1 million residents, 250,000 of which were specifically from Shanghai, where Gigafactory 3 is located. Being that Gigafactory 3 is still unfinished, one might think it is more susceptible to damage than usual. But luckily, all appears to be well. Thanks to a drone flyover, one of many common occurrences that caused Elon to recently ponder the need for air traffic control at the factory, video footage shows that while the privacy wall at the edge of the property was pretty much entirely obliterated, not much other damage was there to be reported. Just days after this severe disaster, workers could be seen milling about performing business as usual. Given the importance of Gigafactory 3 and the accelerated timeline that it's being built on, this natural disaster could have had a major impact on Tesla's execution of its overseas Model 3 strategy. Instead, amazingly, it just has some walls to repair and seemingly nothing more. Lastly, on today's short show, if you're like me and you've been following Tesla through Model 3's announcement and launch, you'll remember the days when Model S still had all kinds of ability to be very uniquely customized, and those of us trying to budget for Model 3 made some attempt at an educated guess for those features and their prices to try to figure out what a Model 3 would cost. Among the many features available, one that some folks were particularly interested in, and that was originally announced to be coming to the car, was air suspension. Twitter user at Grizzly Austin asked Elon when we might actually see the feature, and surely did not get an answer that he wanted to hear. Elon replied, saying, quote, No plans to introduce air suspension on Model 3 at this time. End quote. For me, this is another one that's really unsurprising, as it's yet another way for Tesla to differentiate Model 3 from Model S. It also keeps the car cheaper to produce, though you may be able to add the feature into the performance model and bump the price up a bit to make some more margin on the top-end car, while still not killing the production line with variability. They already have to make significant changes to produce the performance model, so switching out one suspension component for another shouldn't be a huge deal. Hopefully later down the line we'll get to see the air suspension in some variant of the car for those interested, but I certainly wouldn't be expecting it anytime soon if it ever comes at all. That is it for today's show. Thanks to all my patrons supporting the show at patreon.com slash Tibbits, and special thanks to my newest supporter, Sunil Joseph. And as always, a special shout out to all the super patrons supporting the show at the $10 plus level. They are Drew Schuyler, John Waller, Ryan Scarborough, Lee Sweet, William Henry Crew III, Dorian Steve Guberman, Bruno Kunichi, Joey Boots, Ralph and Cheryl Waterhouse, Adam Rammer Brown, Megawatt Photovoltaic Development, Todd Sullivan, Mitch Long, Zortec LED Canada, Morvan Og, Blake Thompson, Raymond and Deborah Malkowitz, T Sport Line, Travis and Cheyenne Rush, Chris Hovis, Craig Murphy, Vicky Kirk, Ricky Johnston, Bien Concepcion, Nathan Garza, Paul Goana, and Ed Patterman. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits and use the hashtag Ask Tesla Tidbits if you'd like your question to be considered for the show. I'll see everyone back here again on Friday. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.